The topic for today is about the Purkinje effect. What is the Purkinje effect? Sometimes called the Purkinje shift or dark adaptation is the tendency for the peak sensitivity of the human eye to shift towards the blue end of the color spectrum at low illumination levels. This effect introduces a difference in color contrast under different levels of illumination. For instance, in bright sunlight, geranium flowers appear bright red against the dull green of their leaves or adjacent blue flowers but in the same scene viewed at dusk. The contrast is reversed with the red petals appearing a dark red or black and the leaves and blue petals appearing relatively bright. The sensitivity to light in scotopic vision varies with wavelength though the perception is essentially black and white. The upper Kinji shift is the relation between the absorption maximum for dopsin, reaching a maximum at about 500 nanometers, and that of the opsins, the longer wavelength cones that dominate in photophic visions, about 555 nanometers green. In visual astronomy, the upper Kinji shift can affect visual estimates of variable stars when using comparison stars of the different colors, especially if one of the stars is in red. Physiology. The effect occurs because the color-sensitive cones in the retina are most sensitive to yellow light, whereas the rods which are more light-sensitive and thus more important at dusk but which do not distinguish colors respond best to green-blue light. This is why we become virtually colorblind under low levels of illumination, for instance, moonlight. The Purkinje effect occurs at the transition between primary use of the photopic cone-based and scotopic rod-based systems. As intensity deems, the rods take over and before color disappears completely, it shifts towards the rod's top sensitivity. Incidentally, the same lack of sensitivity to red is why red lights are used in instrumentation panels. The red light does not disrupt the night vision because the rods do not respond to it, and the fovea is largely red-sensitive cones, hence they are easy to read. Use of red lights the sensitivity of broad to long wavelength light has led to the use of red lights under certain special circumstances, for example, in the control rooms of submarines and research laboratories, aircraft, or during naked eye astronomy. Red lights are used in conditions where it is desirable to activate both the photopic and scotopic systems. Submarines are well lit to facilitate the vision of the crew members working there, but the control room must be lit differently to allow crew members to read instrument panels yet remain dark adjusted. By using red lights or wearing red goggles, the cones can receive enough light to provide photopic vision, namely the high acuity vision required for reading. The rods are not saturated by the bright red light because they are not sensitive to long wavelength light, so the crew members remain dark adapted. Similarly, airplane cockpits use red lights so pilots can read their instruments and maps while maintaining night vision to see outside the aircraft. Red lights are also often used in research settings. Many research animals such as rats and mice have limited photopic vision as they have far fewer cone photoreceptors. The animal subject do not perceive red lights and thus experience darkness the active period for nocturnal animals. But the human researchers who have one kind of cone, the L cone, that is sensitive to long wavelengths are able to read instruments or perform procedures that would be impractical even with fully dark adapted but low acuity scotopic vision. For the same reason, zoo displays of nocturnal animals often are illuminated with red light. Perkinia German, born December 17, 1787 and died July 28, 1869, Prague. Pioneer Zeck experimental psychologist whose investigation in the field of histology, embryology, and pharmacology helped create a modern understanding of the art and vision, brain, and heart function, normal and reproduction, and the composition of cells. The fact was discovered in 1819 by John Evangelista Perkinia. Perkinia was a polymath who would often meditate at dawn during long walks in the blossom bohemian field. Perkinia not that his favorite flowers appeared bright red in the sunny afternoon while at dawn they look very dark. He reasoned that the eye has not one but two systems adapted to see colors, one for bright overall light intensity and the other for dusk and dawn. Perkine wrote in his Naya by Dredge, Objectively, the degree of illumination has a great influence on the intensity of color quality. In order to prove this most vividly, take some colors before daybreak. When it begins slowly to get lighter, initially one sees only black and gray. Particularly, the brightest colors, red and green, appear darkest. Yellow cannot be distinguished from a rosy red, a blue became noticeable to me first. Nuances of red which otherwise burn brightest in daylight, namely carmine, cinnabar, and orange, show themselves as darkest for quite a while, in contrast to their average brightness. Green appears more bluish to me and its yellow tint develops with increasing daylight only. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something!